what would you say is the difference between uh, men and women? I would say, I guess in men, it's, um, what do you call it when the, when you get the... Um, Entradas. Entradas. I was going to say it in Spanish, <laughs> and you beat it's, me to it. It's a lot easier to say it in Spanish than... Las Entradas. Say, I would you say that in entradas. English? Frontotemporal recessions. Okay, let's just stick to Entradas. Sure. I like Entradas more. And then for women, it's usually what? Is it more like the crown area? Well, women tend to have, there's several different patterns with women, but it mostly, uh, the most common pattern is what's called the Christmas tree, where it just sort of recedes gradually back, sometimes leaving the frontal hairline intact, but then it thins out. That's the most common pattern. The other, and also second most common pattern is right along the part line, you just get widening. Mm -hmm. And then the third most common pattern is a diffuse thinning and or just a, more of a male pattern look where it thins out more in the frontal temporal area. And let's take a look at this and uh, show our viewers what we're looking at. Left to right, doctor. Yeah, so I see on the left side, um, which is the woman, um, wider parting, and that's classic for women. And then on the right side, you see the crown area and also the deep uh, frontal temporal recessions. Uh, Entrada? On the male, correct. So why would you say, I know men and women are different, everybody knows Mars and Venus, but why does it occur differently in both of us, uh, you know, if, for you and me? Why, mm -hmm. why is the reasoning? Um, we don't know. You don't know. Okay. Um, there's, there's speculation that there's different sensitivity to the bad type of testosterone. We do know that women that are, for example, postmenopausal or women that take testosterone supplements um, and are very thin and lack body fat so they don't have high estrogen, they are more prone to develop more of a male pattern appearance. So there's differences in their estrogen, testosterone level, there's difference in the genetics, things like that.